Uh, this, now this, uh, some fast food restaurants in California forced to get creative to afford the state's new $20 minimum wage. One McDonald's franchisee is considering higher menu prices and reduced hours. That man is Scott Roderick, and he joins me now. Scott, you've got 18 McDonald's uh, in, uh, in, in California, eight of them, 18 of them. But what's the price of a Big Mac now, and what do you think you'll have to make it when the $20 kicks in fully? Well, the $20 has kicked in fully, yeah, Stuart. Good. good morning. Happy Friday. Uh, the last 12 days since this unprecedented law impacted franchisees in California has literally been a whirlwind. It, frankly, it feels like an eternity. I realize that my customer's appetite for higher prices is not unlimited. So when I take price to relieve margin pressure, it has to be done thoughtfully and with a plan. Charging $10 for an Egg McMuffin or $20 for a Big Mac, for me, is a non-starter. But is that what the price would have to go up to to reflect $20 an hour for your counter hands? Well, certainly price is a lever that an independent business owner like myself can look at to relieve this extraordinary, unprecedented impact on the franchise business model in California. But there are other things, too. I have to somehow grow revenue and reduce costs in my P&L to survive. Um, this is my family's 50th year in the McDonald's business, and I plan on fighting and surviving for another 50 years. So it'll be a combination of price. It'll be a combination of looking at capital expenditures, right. being judicious about labor efficiencies, and trying to grow my market share. Okay. Do you think you'll have to lay people off? There's a lot of discussion on that subject on restaurants closing, restaurants laying people off. Frankly, in my organization, that's the very last thing I'm looking at. I have 800 people, 800 human beings that run my restaurants. Okay. So that's the last lever that I'm looking at. How about so technology? For me, it's about looking. Can, can you bring technology well, in to replace uh, $20 an hour humans? We have invested in technology in the, in the world of McDonald's since 2017. If you walk into a McDonald's today, there are customer kiosks and you can order food and have it delivered at home by Uber Eats and DoorDash. So we have been on a, a path of technology to reallocate labor within the restaurants for, for the last six, six or seven years. So it's really not about replacing people in my restaurants. It's about putting them in other places because our business has expanded, our business has grown, and human beings make hamburgers, human beings run our drive throughs and, and there is no replacing human beings in the restaurant context, at least under the arches. Have you ever thought of leaving California? The thought has crossed my mind a few times. Yeah. Uh, but right now, the focus is survival. And I've, you know, a third generation daughter has just joined the business. So the question I have to ask her is whether she believes her next 50 years should be in a place like California and, and, and grinding it out or is operating a franchise elsewhere something that would be smarter for her to do. Come on over to Naples, Florida and see us over there. You might like it, okay? Uh, thanks so much for joining us, Scott. Good stuff today and best of luck with that $20 an hour minimum wage. Scott Roderick, got it. Thank you, Stuart. Thank now you. This.